Hello everyone, this is Mizan and today we're going to talk about the basic WordPress terms that you should know um, before you start using WordPress. Let's begin. So this is the home page of our website uh, after a fresh installation right now I'm using 2021 theme it might be different uh, based on the time that you are installing your WordPress so uh, I'm going to change this um, theme because uh, okay uh, I shouldn't change the theme because it already has the options that I am going to talk about okay so the first thing that we notice whenever we are installing a fresh WordPress installation or um, any other WordPress uh, installation, uh, even if it's not fresh, you will maybe you are going to notice it. The name of the website, uh, this is uh, in this case WP Imran, it is actually coming from the settings and the general. Uh, from here, the site title is actually WP Imran. That, uh, that's why I'm. Uh, seeing WP Imran over here it's all caps because uh, this has been done through the CSS of the website but it's pretty much the same thing it's coming from here WP Imran uh, INC let's see if it's changed so WP Imran INC uh, so this is the site title terms that usually used for the uh, you know website's name uh, and the tagline just another WordPress site is actually this one we can change it or we oh, sorry uh, from setting in general we can change it or we can just leave it empty like this and uh, this will disappear so this is the site title and tagline that in most cases we use so these are the basic terms that we should know and in pretty, mu pretty much in every theme you will see the um, blog post this is the blog post that comes with the WordPress and uh, these are ca uh, ta uh, categories in this case category and if we go down uh, maybe you will s see these options on the right hand side or maybe on the left hand side uh, uh, this if there is a left hand side or right hand side it is known as sidebar left hand sidebar or left sidebar right hand sidebar or right sidebar if it's appearing on the bottom it's known as footer so if it's appearing on the top it's known as it it is called header so but these are actually known as widgets so the term that we'll use for this types of options is widgets and it's actually coming from the back end I'm going to show you so let's see if we are here then widgets so this is the widgets recent post recent comments then this is the search widgets archives widgets categories widgets etc and um, this is a uh, footer widget so this theme right now has a footer widget and this is the footer widget and we're checking these footer widgets like search, archive, recent post, category, etc. So this is widgets. The technical term form for this is widgets. Okay, so if we go to the post, then you see categories. These are the categories right now there is only uncategorized category if we add another category like say WP tutorials okay so these are categories on the general term but uh, the technical term for this is taxonomy so uh, any category is uh, technically known as a taxonomy uh, this is post uh, by default category taxonomy and tags is also another taxonomy and if we had any other custom post type that we learn slowly in the future videos uh, there would be more taxonomies like this so these are actually technically known as taxonomies but for our case uh, for a uh, like general audience name it's category okay so that's the category 
WordPress uh, design is known as themes, WordPress themes, and uh, if we add simple functionality on a WordPress website that is not part of the theme, those we can do with the help of using separate codes known as plugin. So uh, different code no, uh, that performs different tasks in WordPress is known as plugin. Uh, like uh, we are plugging something into a you know multi plug then uh, that particular device works things like that so in WordPress a particular tax is performed through a particular plugins and WordPress users are users and um, there are different settings on WordPress uh, if I click on add new post then you will notice that if I write something let's say this is my first post uh, this is the post content okay I'm just saving it as a draft if I click on this button on here you'll see the permalink like this wait a minute I'm just changing the permanent uh, structure but right now I'm not explaining what I'm doing I'll do it in a separate video so if you click uh, if I click on it uh, the permalink uh, you'll see there is a name this is my first uh, post and if I click uh, sorry not this one if I publish this post publish see the domain uh, has been changed to this one so this part is known as slug the technical term for this is slug slug so url slug so we can change it uh, to anything that we want like first post and we can update and it will it will change like uh, if i go view post see th this has been changed so the technical term for this is slug okay so there are different options uh, like tags featured image uh, featured image is actually the thumbnail uh, that appears in the post so featured image is a front-end term or maybe a nice term uh, but the actual technical term is thumbnail so tags we already have uh, uh, discussed what is tag uh, this is a kind of taxonomy technically but it's a tag uh, that appears on the post like a hashtag that we put on social media so these are tags uh, kind of hashtag uh, by which your post will be identified um, on a particular topic things like that okay so excerpt is actually uh, it's optional or Aut what was automatically generates a small description about your post but you can write it which will be appearing when we whenever we're sharing the post or maybe on the home page if your theme supports it so i'm not going to talk about that because uh, that's a more deep topic which we will cover in a separate video so these are the common thing that you should know the common terms like what the site title tagline uh, then uh, the categories uh, also known as taxonomy if someone is talking with you like nerdy topic uh, like nerd nerdy words like trying to be super cool saying that yeah please change the taxonomy so you know where it, it is right so the category is tag these are taxonomies and if uh, someone is saying that please change the slug of your uh, post that means uh, you should change the permalink uh, of your uh, part of the permalink of your total links so uh, the widgets are actually uh, uh, widgets and you can put them on sidebars maybe on the uh, left sidebar right sidebar uh, if your theme supports footer header things like that and we also have talked about um, featured image and some other things that uh, we are going to cover later uh, okay i'm going to cover two more things uh, one is menu like 
uh, from you can have menu this team doesn't have any menu at this moment so uh, we can create one top menu okay uh, let's i'm giving it a name as primary menu this team has two uh, display location that means this this team supports two menu so i'm putting it on on the primary menu and if i go and check it then you see uh, my menu doesn't have any item i guess so yeah i have to put something i'm putting the sample page at this moment um, okay one minute let me save it saved so this is the menu so menu is another technical term if someone is talking about menu that means yeah uh, the options on your websites uh, on the front end okay sometimes some people will talk about please change the value of your custom field but right uh, uh, in a post or something like that but um, right now we don't have any custom field mm. still the gutenberg ha doesn't have all the uh, uh, options functionality mm. so if you need to change uh, the custom field value uh, that is another technical term uh, small values uh, which you can change uh, right now i don't see any options on the gutenberg but if uh, you you need to change the custom value uh, of the custom field then you can switch to another editor uh name is the classic editor which you can add from uh the plugins add new or what i did uh, i clicked on the plugin then add new S pretty much same thing then there will be some suggested plugin from or featured plugin from wordpress that uh, you can install so i am installing the classic editor uh, that we require uh, at this moment to show the custom field value and you have to also activate it okay now if i go and switch my post uh, it's right now on uh, the classic editor and here is the option the custom field so if your theme like let's say that your theme is something like a uh, movie review site theme uh, you need to put actors address or review things like that uh, you can put those using the custom field so this is another technical term that you might need whenever you are trying to uh, edit your post so these are the pretty, pretty much most common technical terms that you should know when you are using wordpress i hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching in the next video we're gonna talk about are we gonna actually jump on different options of wordpress like uh, uh how to add post how to change page options things like that uh so till then have a nice day nice time stay safe be happy thanks for watching bye bye